depot and find this fixture here. It is a quad drain multi-purpose floor drain and it has a two inch um, outlet. Now that is exactly enough room to slide that in place just like this. Now this is a 360 gallon per hour uh, rule bilge pump but you can use a 500 gallon per hour which is the same diameter so it'll still fit. You're going to use amazing goop, um, glues whatever and bonds forever. So it really does but you need to sand everything that you stick this to with uh, 100 grit sandpaper. Make sure you rough it up really good, everything inside the tank. Rough that up, rough the, in the inside of that, glue all that up. Uh, make sure your direction is just right and don't let it shift until it dries. Um, now this is a window I've cut. It's about 40% of, of the uh, outer diameter. Um, enough of a window to be able to stuff this gutter filter, which you can also get from Home Depot for pretty cheap compared to you know pond stuff. So I just went with this. I'm just basically going to cut it, shape it, take it and stuff it around it like this. Now keep in mind, this is sealed up. You don't want any scales or anything coming through these cracks. You're going to have a bit of a crack. Just make sure you get the goop to seal up this location around the perimeter of that uh, intake grate. Um, and then also make sure that you leave a lip on the top and the bottom to where you can spring the filter kind of up behind it and down underneath it. That way you keep any scales from entering into the intake of this because if you do have scales that enter into the intake they'll get trapped inside of this which will um, clog up the flow and you won't have any aeration so something that you have to pay attention to with these things but they work great otherwise so the parts list is this I'm going to cut this out I'm going to glue this in that's getting peeled off that's getting sanded and this is also going to be glued in 